Being at home might help them a little bit, but the Chargers could crush them on Monday. They have the second highest passing play percentage in the NFL. They're averaging 274.2 yards through the air per game. And Indy just got torched for 460 passing yards and four TDs by Minnesota. Uh, Tank, how do you see this game playing out? <laughs> um, well, first off, I don't want to bury the lead. I will never trust the Chargers. I understand that they're playing better ball, and this is a game that they should win. Uh, mm -hmm. And I understand that the Indianapolis Colts are probably going to be just down in the dumps after I don't I still don't know how yeah. they lost that damn game. That um, was wild. Like Matt Ryan, I, I feel bad for him because honestly, yeah. he hasn't been able to get over the Super Bowl. Like after the 28-3 comeback by the New England Patriots, he just hasn't been right. I mean, he's had some moments, but I feel like he wasn't able to get back right and the Atlanta Falcons weren't able to get back mm -hmm. right as a whole after that game. And that's why they end up eventually parting ways. And then now he has to endure that once again in his career, possibly like his last mm -hmm. start ever. Is that like, I don't wish that evil on anyone, but that's deflating as hell. I really don't know how they overcome that. They already understand that they're not in the playoff hunt. The only thing that the players are focused on right now is getting the hell out of the season healthy because the last thing you want to do is have an off-season surgery and have to be stuck in damn Indianapolis while everybody else is like jetting around the world, hitting up islands and stuff like that, and you're stuck in damn Indy rehabbing. So they're going to try to get out this season healthy, which means that it should be a path of the least resistance possible for the Chargers. But the Chargers like the Charger. Um, so I'm not touching this one. The Chargers should win. They should be able to move the ball on offense. I really like what I've seen from them, whether it's Mike Williams, Keenan Allen, Austin Eckler, whether he's running the ball or catching the ball out of the backfield. Justin Herbert's been on fire for the past couple weeks and showing why he's just not some social media quarterback. I don't know why people like want to just say dumb things online, like he's not a good player. I mm -hmm. mean, honestly, they charge it like they lose games that they should win and vice versa. But there's no doubt in the talent and that he's one of the better quarterbacks in the league. But that being said, do I trust them to go in there and cover minus four and a half? Hell no. Um, do I count trust them to put up a lot of points? Like, hell no. Am I going to even <laughs> touch this game? Hell no. But I will watch because I feel like whenever you have these two teams playing, any damn thing is bound to happen as we saw last week. So this is another one where you want to have your popcorn ready. It could be a banger or it could be boring as hell. Yeah, the Colts down in the dumps, Jared. Can they bounce back at home in front of a home crowd or do you think they succumb to the four and a half points that the Chargers are laying? Yeah, I don't have much here. I, I think the edge to me is the Chargers um, defensive line really struggles and the Colts can kind of get into you a little bit. You know, Zach Moss, and this is not going to be Jonathan Taylor, but maybe Zach Moss might be a fantasy option for you this week or a prop option. The thing that scares me, though, about uh, the Colts offensive line, Quentin Nelson's on pace for one of his worst career uh, seasons. He's not graded out well this year, and this is a guy that I thought was one of the best guards in the league, and he's been kind of on the downtrend. Chargers offensive line has been disaster, period, end of story. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just think Yannick Ngakwe is going to be a problem for Matt Ryan and, or it's really going to be Nick Foles this week, but it really doesn't really matter. Foles, yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I feel bad for Matt Ryan too, until the, I see the hundreds of millions of dollars that he's made in his career. And then I, I don't feel as bad anymore. Right. <laughs> yeah. I feel like he's going to be okay, but yeah, I mean, you, 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 you certainly feel for him and, and we'll, we'll, we'll see emotionally how the team rallies around Indy. I I'll be honest. I, I want nothing to do with this game. I, I think the chargers win and they should win by two scores, but they charge her all the time. So you're, you're asking mm -hmm. for trouble if you're laying more than a field goal with this LA team.